Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our pre-match press conference ahead of tomorrow's game against uh, TTK Mohan Bagan. With me is head coach Des Buckingham and forward Vikram Pratap Singh. Floor is open. Please introduce yourself before asking the questions. Good. Uh, I like to introduce you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Your team is in a dream run now. So, uh, how hopeful you are to maintain that uh, tempo? Uh, and uh, what is your assessment about it? Can you take one mic? Yeah. Good, good afternoon to everybody. Um, good afternoon to everybody. Um, yeah, I'm happy with how we've started the season and I'm happy with how we have played, more importantly than the results um, up until now. We put ourselves in a good position, um, but the most important thing is, I keep speaking about, we have to get better game by game. And as long as we keep trying to do that, um, I'll, be, I'll be again very happy going into, into this game. We've done as much as we can to uh, prepare ourselves for what we know will be another very tough and challenging test against ATK Mon Um But it's one we're ready for uh, and one we're looking forward to. all of those. <laughs> I think firstly there's, there's obviously a lot that is said every week, not just about our team but other teams. It's not something that I get interested in and it's not something I know our team get interested in. Um, the, the reality is, you know, there can be favourites for a league, but the reality is that Hyderabad are the current champions um, and they're the current reigning champions. So for me they're a very strong team and they're there to try and defend their, their trophy this year the same way we tried last year. Um, so I won't get involved in any of that. Um, in terms of ATK Mon Bagan, uh, same as I've said every week about every team. I think every team has given us a different challenge so far this season. Uh, every team I think has got better and stronger and you get that because of games and time that you spend together and I certainly include ATK Mon Bagan in that. But I also include ourselves in that. The more time we get to spend together, the more time we get to train and more importantly play together, um, the more we can try and progress and get better. Uh, and I see that not just with us but I see it across the league and I think what it makes for is some wonderful games. And uh, we're certainly seeing that now, and it'll be a very exciting last, what is, seven games for us, and uh, seven games or six games for others as well as the season um, comes to an end. So, all the right. available to your team players? Same again, sir. You are getting all players available? Yeah, the, uh, Diaz is unavailable through suspension, uh, but he's the only one at the moment uh, unavailable for the game. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, coach, uh, I said Shivaji walking from Houston to each other. Uh, related happening in the first. I have two part question. Number one, consecutive eight matches. Uh, your team won just consecutive eight matches. What is the chemistry of success? Number two, uh, do you believe in law of average factor? If so, you say a worrying factor for Mumbai team. What was the second part is to that? It, is, is it a worrying factor for you? The law of average. Law, law of average. Catch up? No, I think I'll answer. I'll answer both of them with the same. I'm trying to answer that both those questions with the same answer. It's. What's got us to where we are has been time together and consistency of working. You know, this is now 16 months of me being here. 
Um, and I think it's taken a long time for us to get to where we want to get to. It's been a lot of hard work off the field and on the pitch, um, which I think we start to see the benefits of that time together in the Champions League. Certainly when we come to the Durant Cup and then starting the season and going the way we are. But that time has allowed us to, uh, for players to become clear on how we want to play, what their role is within how we want them to play within that. And then the standards that we hold each other accountable to every day to make sure we stay consistent and try and stay as, as high as consistent um, as possible to drive each other and to make sure we can perform as well as we can. Um, so to answer that second part of your question, I don't get caught up in runs or, or things. We just need to make sure we do everything we can week to week to try and put ourselves in the best position to perform um, every game and for every player to perform as well as they can. And that's the most important thing to me regardless of the, the scoreline. That's not, that's not an answer I'm going to give to you before the game. Um, you know, we all have strengths and we all have weaknesses. They'll be trying to do the same thing that we're doing to them. Um, the focus, is, as always, is on making sure that we prepare our team as well as we can uh, for what is a, a very tough game again for us um, against a very tough team. Um, but the, the focus will be on how we want to play and the focus will be on how we want to defend. And if we can do that as well as we can, we'll put ourselves in the str strongest position as possible to try and come away with a result tomorrow evening. But again, we know that you know, they'll throw up challenges um, with the threats that they pose. Uh, but we'll try and be as ready as we can for them. So I'm looking forward to a very exciting game tomorrow night. Coach, taking care from my colleague, uh, do you believe that after the inclusion of Gallagher and Slavko, it can move on is much more stronger than the previous one? I think time will tell. I think that's the, the beauty of the January transfer window. It gives teams opportunities, whether it's through injuries or performances where they can make changes. You know, it's not one that we've dipped into. Um, we're very happy with our playing group. and and how they, you know, how we've gone about our recruitment and the way they're performing. Um, but for teams, you know, time will tell uh, whether or not it's new signings, not just for, for this club, but for others, um, you know, whether or not they're successful or they're not. But they both look like very good signings on, on paper. Um, and of course, one's already played in the league last year, so we know what to expect there. So, yeah, time will tell. Coach, uh, in your this week, uh, following run, well, what do you say, do you think that this Edika Mourvan is the biggest challenge in this league run of yours? I think if you'd have asked Adisha two games ago and then Kerala Blasters last week, um, they'd have said the same thing. I think every game that we play, uh, it's, we know each is, is challenging as each other. Um, ATK and Mombagana are as good as a team and they'll be challenging for, for top spot the same way that six or seven other teams are still trying to do that. So. There'll be a good test, um, but there'll be as big a test, I think, as what Kerala were for us last week and what Adisha were for us the week before. And I could keep going back, but I won't. Uh, so if we're not switched on and we don't play to the full of our, uh, as well as we can, you know, it's, it's never easy. Football's not easy. Um, and if we don't put ourselves in the best position to perform as well as we can, um, we know it could be a difficult evening for us. But I'm happy with how we've prepared. Um, I'm happy where the players are at right now. And I think we've tried to put ourselves in that position that come tomorrow night, everyone's ready to, to go. Uh, may I ask a different question? I mean, about coach, not about the team. Because we heard that, uh, I don't know whether it is rumor or not, that you you were shortlisted in the in, in, in the, uh, news, I think so, New Zealand's team uh, 
national teams in so uh, as a coach so why you uh, why you uh, i mean what is the reason that you didn't try for that and you stay back in mumbai you sit till 2025 yeah i informed new zealand football that i would be signing a contract extension here in mumbai um, because I think when you're involved, you know, since I arrived firstly into City Football Group, which of course oversee the, the, the club here in Mumbai, I arrived with them two and a half years ago, firstly in Melbourne City. The way I've been supported, the way I've been trusted, the way I've been looked after and developed both as a person and as a coach, I'm only 37. You know, I've coached for 21 years, but I've hopefully still got a lot to learn. Not hopefully, I have got a lot to learn. I've hopefully still got a long way to go in the game. But when you find yourself in such a supportive environment, um, which I've then found from the moment I stepped into this football club, you know, last September, October, September, October, um, when, you, when you find that and you, you're able to put a bit of a project together, which we're starting to see some real benefit of over 15 or 16 months now, the excitement of being able to continue that journey and see how far we can now build. Um, the vision I have as a coach is certainly very closely aligned to the club. I want to be the best coach I can be. The club wants to be the best that it can be without comparing itself to others. And the group want us to be as successful as we can, not just in one season, but try and build and put something in place that puts some real solid foundations to try and be as successful as we can over a longer period of time. So all of those factors um, for me made sense to, to firstly sign and stay here. And then the excitement of spending another two years working with people like Vikram who sits next to me. <laughs> Um, and trying to help this club build and develop on what we've already done. Any other questions? We promised our own Mr. Gandhi that uh, Coach Eager Simat uh, was telling when he was playing with the Indian team, he said that one of the players of Mumbai FC that we from Sudarshiv, I could not take him, uh, though he is the most talented player in the team. So, as he said like that, now, you think that the rest of the matches you have in your hand, you have to do something which actually may that team may give you the Indian team's directly? Yes, I think, uh, up in luck, I have done something like that. But we still have a lot of matches. And, uh, again, I think I can do better. I can get I can show myself what I can do. So hopefully, maybe yeah, I can. I bullet that you know that Vikram is a such a talented player. So maybe you see that he will be, he will come up like that. That he may be one of the one biggest star in our Indian team. So, ये आपको देखना है क्या या अभी तो बाकी साथ में आता है? अभी साथ में तक तो कुछ बोल सकते हैं क्योंकि अभी मैं बहुत कुछ सीखा है क्योंकि इस टीम में लॉट ऑफ़ डी प्लेयर्स डेट आई कैन सी देम एंड आई आई एम लर्निंग डेली उनको देख देख के मैं डेली सीख रहा हूँ जैसे एट द मोमेंट बिपिन और चांते वी कैन वी कैन सी इज़ डी बेस्ट बिगर्स इन डी लीग वो ऐसा काम कर रहे हैं जो अभी मैं उनको देख के सीख रहा हूँ और जब मेरा टाइम आएगा तो आई थिंक आई कैन डू बेटर देन आह कोशिश बार भी करना तो तब सीख आह एक बार इधर फुटबॉल एक्सपर्ट डेट मुंबई सी इज़ अ बहुत फेवरेट इंडियन स्कूल आई सी सो इट्स अ प्रेशर फॉर योर टीम और यू आर एंजॉयिंग द प्रेशर एवरीवन इज एंजॉयिंग द प्रेशर बिकॉज़ is all all is doing their best and that is the best thing for us and the club. Any further questions? Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank